excited about this bonsai tree. The items you're going to need is 24 gauge wire. I'm using silver today. You can use gold if you like. We're going to use these metal small leaves as accents on our branches and a new bead that I haven't used with you before. The double holes. I'm not sure if you can see them. Each bead is glass. I chose the shiny ones. We're going to use two colors today. The pearl white and the light green. You also need as well your Gorilla Clear Grip glue. Your silicone flat nose pliers and obviously your wire cutters. You're going to need to cut. You will cut 20 strands of 26 gauge wire and 10 strands of 24 for a total of 30 strands, 20 inches long. We're going to be adding lights to this tree inside of this lantern. It was on clearance because it's a summertime decoration. Bottom is a type of plywood and glass sides. We're going to wash these because they're usually filthy when you buy them. And also, you're going to want to drill a small hole in the bottom so that we can fit the lights through. And make a little scoop like that. And we're going to add exactly 15 of the double hole beads. You're going to meet your wire right at the ends and let your beads slide down to the middle. Grab it like so and I'm going to push aside five on each side of the wire and that will leave you with five in the middle. Then you're going to twist. After the first two twists, stick your index finger in and just gently pull up and continue twisting. And right about there looks good. I guess that was about six times. Then you're going to get that side, hold your wire Pull it a little bit out, like so. So it looks like that. You're going to meet it right where you stopped this flower. And twist. Until these get a little bit tighter to form another flower. And the entire time you're doing that, you're kind of holding the excess beads in your hand like so. This you will twist three times, two and three. Push these up. Meet that wire right there at the edge. Push those right in the middle and twist. Separate that wire there, and this we will twist about eight times. Six, seven, and eight. Let's do nine. That looks pretty good.
So when you're going to add the accent, you're going to add seven beads. Then you're going to place one of the leaves. If you use gold wire, they also sell the gold leaves. I'll have that link as well in the description. So that's seven beads, one accent, and then eight more beads for the year total of 15. If you have one too many, that's okay. at the ends there, let everything else fall, and you're going to grab those five, put them down there, and this five for the other stem. There's a couple too many, but who cares? I'm just a bigger flower. And we're going to twist. One, two, three, four, and five. That's going to be really cute. And again, push them up slightly. Meet the wire right there where you stopped. And twist your flower. They come in tri-colors, metallics, matte, if you don't like the shine. They're, they have a pretty vast variety of them. Okay. And that's the long wire, and I want this over on this side. Pull it up slightly. Meet it right there and twist. You don't have to add the accent if you don't want to. You can add any accent you want if you choose to. Just do half and half. 15 with just the plain beads and then 15 strands with your accent. I think I have a couple butterflies I might add too. I'm not sure. Right, we got that perfect, and then we twist it eight to ten times to create your stem. And that's what that looks like. Okay, continue to make your stems, and I'll see you back here when they're done. Now that we have all of our stems done, we'll start to make the branches. But first, before I do this, I wanted to show you the lights that I chose. They're from Mainstays, and it's a string of just 18 lights. You don't want a lot, just enough. And we're going to go ahead and put the lights through the hole that we drilled on the bottom of your little lantern then when we're finished with that we're going to go ahead and put whatever you decide to put for the ground decorations and I grabbed a few pieces of this wood from some old potpourri that should look pretty nice things first let's do the lights bottom and pull them on up. Basically I just put some Mod Podge right on the bottom because it's a glue adhesive and I'm going to just brush it 
so that it spreads evenly. And I want to try not to get it too close to the sides of the glass in case I have to ever take it out. These should look pretty good. And then I'll just put some stone. Got some of this stone, the natural looking, or you can use white or whatever you want. And put that over there as well. The decoration landscape, so to speak, for our lantern is dry. And I decided to add these adventuring stones I found. I believe in Michael's, I'll have the link for them as well. And if you were wondering where the lights came from with the timer, they are also from Michael's and they're from Mainstays. All the links to purchase are going to be in the description. Now, we're going to put this aside and get started on our tray. I've sectioned them off, the stems, into five and six. You're going to grab your first section, right? Separate there on your finger and do this with all of them. And I like the 26 gauge wire with these stems because it's a lot easier to work with. And you definitely want to hold them in between your index finger, the wires, so that you get a nice even twist. It gets a lot easier. All right, now we have them all together. And just like with the stem, you're gonna pull up and gently twist. Two, three, four, five, six, six or seven times, I think we'll do. That looks pretty good. And we're gonna do that with all of them. Don't start to shape your branches yet until we're ready. Okay, we are ready to make our tree. And we need to design it so it's going to fit perfectly inside here. Grab two of them, place them together, hold it on your index finger like so, like the, we've been doing, and pull up and twist. They come in very handy. Yeah, we want that to be about that high. Six and a half inches tall, and you want it to be seen pretty good, and I don't want it to come up over the top because then they won't see it. So we're going to have to make our tree about four inches tall. We're going to add these two. And I'm twisting these roughly about four times. Actually, we're going to wait on those. We're going to do these two together first, and then we'll add them. So, 
we're going to take these that have one, two, three, four branches and make it into the trunk. Two. Three and four. Spread those apart, and we're going to add this one on the side, like that. And then this one, we're going to put on the other side and meet them right there at the base of the trunk and twist. If it gets a little hard, go ahead and use the pliers, which I think I may just do right now. second and that looks to be pretty perfect as far as height okay now before we start to design the tree we're going to go ahead and start our roots Okay, that's better. That's perfect. Okay, so I twisted this about six times. It was just looking a little too short for these last branches, and we don't want it to look funky. Okay, now what we're going to do is start our roots real quickly. Cut those excess long ones off. And you're going to have some short wires here, but it's not a big deal at all. We are definitely going to go ahead and incorporate them in. I'm going to separate these into four sections. Just like that and with your pliers I'm going to twist that like so on all four we have all four of the base roots started now you can go ahead and separate the rest and twist just don't squeeze too hard because you don't want to damage the wire and have it snap off And these little short guys here are pink, but we're going to get those incorporated with the long ones. And I'm going to go ahead for the sake of the length of this video and just continue on with my roots. And I'll see you right back here. Now it is time to shape our tray. Be sure to have your Gorilla Clear Grip Glue ready to have this tree secured on your stones and your 
wood. Now time to shape the roots a little bit because they're going to have to lay kind of perfectly on the rocks and when when you have it in a lantern like that it's kind of hard to grip it with rubber bands and stuff so wherever it lays it's going to stay there and just give them little twists and turns like that you don't need to go too crazy because we kind of need it to lay on the flat side snow like curly cues and stuff this time I don't know if you can see that too good or not, but they seem to be laying pretty well. I like it. Okay, now let's shape this tray. And it's going to be a little on the wider side instead of tall, which I think I'm going to love a lot. start to separate and just separate them like that and make it look like a pretty normal branch however you want to design it like I said try not to manipulate too much because as you could say you're gonna lose some but that's okay there's going to be a whole lot and it takes some time so take your time with it until you're happy with exactly how it's designed and I'm going to go ahead and continue to separate these out and you do the same and I will see you back here when I am finished yeah I'm in love with it I like the colors and if you don't like the way it looks in the front turn it around reshape it it's going to look beautiful. I wanted to show everyone what I had to do with my lantern to get the lights on properly and to actually shape the tree a little better because going from the top wasn't cutting it. So what I did was I took the glass sides off and just slid them out, got them nice and clean while I was at it and you just pull this little tab up and they should slide right back out. Okay. Then I realized the fairy lights I was going to use were way too long. And I don't want to put them all along the tree. So what I did was learn something new today. You can cut. Let me see if I can show you. Come on, focus. You can cut them right at any end you want to and they'll still work. So I cut like half the string off. It was perfect. I had no idea they would still work that way. So I learned something new. Now what I did is I'm threading the wire all along the sides and underneath, you can see there where the roots were glued down. And I'm just gonna go all along the bottom and just let it shine right up to the top of the tree. And it's going to look really pretty when it's done. So I'm going to finish my work and I will be right back. Real quick note. 
you're probably wondering what happened to the battery pack. If you can find this particular lantern, I'll have the link in the description. You just hide it right underneath. It's on a timer. It'll shut itself off in six hours. None the wiser. <laughs>